In this short video, Ryan shows you how to send out a broadcast in ClickFunnels to your entire list and the process and the steps that the branding group uses to do this. When you get logged into ClickFunnels, go ahead and hover over Actionetics and click on the broadcast button. Pretty simple there. And uh, what we need to do is just click the yellow new broadcast button here. All right, now this is going to uh, get it set up. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is name our broadcast. So, and this is just for you. This is not something that the people will see. This is only for you and organizing um, the broadcast here. So you're the only person that's gonna see this. So I'm just gonna call this um, video training, just for the sake of it. Um, and then you need to click on email messenger because we are trying to send an email here. So we'll do that. All right, now um, again, this group tag, you can use it if you want. If you don't want to, that's totally fine. This is just gonna loop everything together in the same little folder so it's easy to find. Um, this is just something that you can set up if you would like. Um, if you wanna make a new tag, you can just type like, let's just say I wanna type in training and that'll add it. All right, so we, now we need to do uh, the email integration. Hopefully you've already integrated your email with ClickFunnels. Um, if not, it's really easy to get that set up um, and they have some great training for that as well. So we're gonna choose Alex's, which is alex at brandinggroup.com. And then the last one is the from name, just put your name in there, okay? So right here, this is where you choose your lists that you want it to get sent to. So we have a ton of lists. Um, you probably don't wanna scroll through it all, so you can just start typing in. So for example, um, if you wanna send it to your entire list, you can just do that. You will have to set up email lists. Now, this is something that you definitely wanna stay organized in so you know what lists you want to send to. Um, and that's whenever you, whenever you set up your funnels, whenever you set up um, all the different lead funnels and webinar funnels and, and membership funnels, everything that you do, make sure that you're, you're staying organized with all of your lists. You know, Like I showed you, we have a ton of email lists here and we need to make sure we know where they're all at so we're sending it to the right people. Um, so that's where you choose your list there. Later on, you'll be able to see how many people are getting it. So that'll be really helpful to know. And this is a new thing inside of ClickFunnels is their filter rules. Now, by default, ClickFunnels keeps this one here. Um, this, so if I were to leave this rule here, this means that um, if somebody hasn't engaged with us in the last 31 days, um, they won't get this email. Uh, usually, uh, it's up to you guys. You can take it off by clicking this. Uh, but let me show you a few other things you can do here. Um, so for example, let's say that, let's just pretend that we're sending an email out um, about our uh, VIP coaching program that Alex has. But I don't want that to go to people that are in the program. And so there's a couple different ways you could do that. You could click on funnel and I could add a rule where I would say, I only want people to get this email if they've never visited a funnel step equal to, and then I could go and find our VIP uh, trial a and whatever order confirmation, um, what, whatever funnel that would be, you would want to go to that step. So let me go find our VIP uh, funnel here. All right, so uh, we have the VIP vault. So if they've gone to this, then we know that they're a member. So I could just choose that one. Um, you can do the same thing. I'll show you how to do a list. It's very simple as well. If you just come over here to list and click on static list, you could click that, or we'd probably want to do not on static list equal to, um, I would probably, I would need to choose a few, but one of the lists that we have for Alex is, uh, we used to call it his level 10, oh, that's not there. Um, here, this one, this one was people that were already in his program, so I would choose that one. So that's how to add in rules. Um, you can do with other ones as well, um, but that's how to do that, the rules. So we've got the email started. Uh, just, just click next. And so on this page, this is where we're going to actually set up the email. 
Now, whenever I do this, I always, let me go find it. I always have a Word document that I just copy and paste from. So I have this Word document right here. And I'm just going to copy and paste it over here into the, the funnel itself. And so I would just take my subject line, just copy that. I would paste it right here. Um, you don't have to use a pre-header. This, this will just show up under the subject line whenever people um, are looking at it inside of their inbox. So we like to put it in there. It doesn't hurt. So go ahead and I would copy and paste that, put it there. All right, and now we're going to choose our email template. Now, what I would recommend doing, as you can see, there's different ones that ClickFunnels has created for you, and then there's ones that you have created yourself, the user ones. And so this makes it really easy to have all of our emails look the same, have the same footer. Um, and this one right here, I'll go ahead and just preview it. Um, this is the one that we use for Alex. We have his, his nice little footer here. Um, I have the signature, I have a PS, and I have the, the introduction part. Um, I just like to use that so I don't have to set that up every single time that I make an email. So we're going to just select this. <clears throat> and just so you know, um, it's very easy to set one of these up. You would just, you know, get your setup however you'd like, and then you would just need to click this button. All right. So now we're just going to click edit email. I'll, I'll show you a few brief things here. Um, inside of the email editor. So I would just copy all of this and then I'd come over here and paste it. Now, so that's the paragraph. Now, if you notice, um, I have some bullet points here that I want to use. Uh, but one thing, this is a little trick. Before you co copy it, you need to get rid of those bullets because I don't want to paste the bullets. I'm going to have ClickFunnels make the bullets for me. So then I'm just going to copy this part. All right, go ahead and click that plus button. And if you notice, we have a bullet point list right here. So I can just highlight that and paste it. Can you get rid of that last one? And then if you notice, it's a little bit smaller than the last one. The way that you can edit the text size is click this little um, settings button. And we're going to choose a text size to be 16. Click done, and now it looks the same. And then same thing, if you notice I had bold right here, I would like it to be bold on the email. So I would just highlight this and then go ahead and click bold. And do this on all of the, uh, the bullet points there. Now here's a little trick that I like to do because um, whenever you make a new text block, it won't be the exact same as what you've been using. So one thing that I like to do, you don't have to do it like this, but I like to just copy it. And then I'm just going to drag this up. And because I want to use the same formatting for the rest of the email. So I would just copy this part. And you can paste it here. And now it has the, the right formatting. All right. And then if you notice, I have a click here call. I'm going to show you how to embed a link there. So I've already pasted my link here for me to use. It's his VIP link. So copy that. And then whatever text you want that to be embedded on, just highlight it. So let's say I want it there and click this link button right here. And then I would just paste it. All right. And then the final, I have the PS. One hint, it's always great to use a PS in your emails. I don't know if you're doing that or not, but you definitely want to do that. Um, and I still need to put the link there on the PS. Some people like to just skim to the very bottom. So we started using them a lot. We've seen great results with them. All right. So there's my email. Um, let me show you a few things. Let's say you wanted to have a picture. Just click that plus button and you can do an image. You would just need to click this button. Um, you can select your image. So if you already have one uploaded, you can select one there or just choose the file. So let's just say I'll use that one. That's the Funnel Hackers community image. And you can always drag things around, put that there. Um, let's say that's too big. You can always edit the size of it right here. So let's get rid of what they had. And let's say I just want the width to be 300. 
And then I can also center it. So there's a little trick there. Um, so that's just how to do that. Um, now, one thing that you want to make sure you do is click Save. Unfortunately, ClickFunnels will allow you to close this without saving. So I would always click Save. Make sure you click Save lots of times. Uh, make sure that you um, even just do that twice before any time before you hit close, you want to hit save. Um, and then you would just need to hit the preview button. Always preview it. See that it looks good. Go ahead and click on your links. You also want to make sure that your links are working. As you can tell, it worked. And so that is how to set up the email. So we can go ahead and, again, I like to just click save just to be safe. Click close, and we see that we're good. All right, so we're good with the email, we're good with the setup. Um, and then go ahead and click next. And now it's time to schedule it. So you can look at the calendar and just choose from there. So let's just say I wanna send it next Tuesday. So I'll click on the Tuesday, and then I'll choose my time. I always like to type it in. Um, let's just send it at nine o'clock in the morning. All right. Go ahead and click next. You're not going to schedule anything yet. Well, let me if you let me show you something. Let me go back real quick. Let's say that you want it to go out right now. Um, you can go ahead and just click this button, and it's going to send on the next page. So that's one thing that you can do there. Let me go back. All right. So oh, I didn't change the time again. That's okay. Um, so, and you can see a little preview of your email down here. You can see how many people are going to receive it. It's 14,000 people. And um, see, you can review everything. And one thing I would recommend doing is take, make sure you do this. Send a test email to yourself. You'll be able to see what it looks like. You'll be able to make sure you like um, everything in it and do a final, uh, do a final check on the words, the spelling, all that kind of review. And once you're happy, go ahead and click Q to send. All right, when you Q to send, it's good to go now. So it's there, we know that it's going to send, and you've just uh, got your first broadcast ready. So um, one thing though, let's say I'm like, oh no, I forgot to put something. This is kind of tricky, it's something new that was in ClickFunnels when they made an update. Um, we have on the broadcast tab, you have all of the broadcasts that you've sent. That's the overview. We have queued. So these are all the broadcasts that we have scheduled to go out. And then we have drafts. And these are the ones that we've started making, but we have not queued to send yet. And so if you need to, uh, if you need to edit a funnel that you queued, you need to come here. And you actually need to move that, that broadcast to drafts. And so come and click on, find the, this is the, bit, the email I just made. Come and find that and click move to drafts. And then inside of the drafts, you can click those three dots again and you can edit it. All right. And you can make any changes that you need to make. And so that's just how to send a broadcast. That was a pretty in-depth training on how to send a broadcast. You can test it, you can um, edit it by sending it to drafts and everything like that. So that's the broadcast part of this free training. Hey, I'm Alex Branding. You just watched one of our replays of the Funnels 101 live video training that we do in the Funnel Hackers Community Facebook group. I would love for you to join us in there. We do regular live training. We drop free funnels and we have other resources and goodies to help you in your online marketing journey. We are an encouraging community that wants you to succeed. I'd love for you to join us. You can click in the link below, Funnel Hackers Community. I'll see you there.